8 Your Beans to Fill Up with Fiber There are lots of reasons to put beans on your shopping list. Firstly, beans are an excellent source of fiber, and any food that's high in fiber will be filling, says Christine Jerpstadt, MD, RD, author of Doctor's Detox Diet, The Ultimate Weight Loss Prescription. One half cup of black beans, for example, has 7 grams of fiber, or 28% of your DV. One cup of red kidney beans has 8 grams of fiber or 32% of your DV. And one half cup of garbanzo beans has 6 grams of fiber or 24% of your DV. Plus, fiber helps to fill you up without adding many calories to food, since our bodies can't digest fiber, explains Kelly Kennedy, RD, staff nutritionist for Everyday Health. Fiber also takes longer to digest and adds bulk to food, she adds. A small study published in ISRN Obesity found that a high fiber, bean rich diet increased satiation and reduced hunger. Beans also stimulate the production of the gut hormone cholecystokinin, CCK, which slows gastric emptying and can help to suppress appetite, Kennedy notes. All of these benefits may lead to weight loss. A study published in April 2014 the Journal of Human Nutrition and Dietetics found that a high-fiber, bean-rich diet was as effective as a low-carbohydrate diet for losing weight. Meal Prep Inspiration A veggie chili or a bean base too will fill you up without weighing you down, suggests Kennedy. She also loves the convenience of canned beans, which can be rinsed, to reduce the sodium content, and added to a rice dish or on top of a salad for more protein and fiber. 2. Savor Salmon to Feel Full, Longer Why put salmon on your list of foods for weight loss? Among its many health benefits, salmon is a great source of protein, 3 ounces, oz, of wild Atlantic salmon has about 22 grams of protein. In a small study published in the journal Obesity, researchers at Purdue University found that men who were trying to lose weight felt full longer when they ate higher amounts of protein at each meal. The participants, who were put on a low-calorie, high-protein diet, also reported fewer food cravings throughout the day and didn't crave unhealthy snacks late at night. Protein-rich foods are filling foods because protein is metabolized more slowly than fats or carbohydrates, explains Dr. Jerpstadt. Salmon is also one of the best sources of heart-healthy fats known as omega-3 fatty acids, adds Kennedy. Meal Prep Inspiration Try baking or grilling salmon, you can have a 3-ounce portion for dinner and flake the leftovers over salad greens for lunch the next day, says Kennedy. 3. Enjoy eggs for a protein-rich breakfast In an 8-week study published in the International Journal of Obesity, overweight men and women who ate two eggs for breakfast lost more weight than those who ate bagels. Eggs may help with weight loss because they are high in protein, One large egg has about 6 g, and it requires more energy to break down a protein than it does a starch, which many breakfast foods, including bagels, cereals, and muffins, are made up of, Dr. Cantor suggests. If you're worried about high cholesterol, you may want to consider eating more egg whites than yolks, but odds are you don't have to worry too much. Some people are considered hyper-responders to dietary cholesterol, cholesterol in the foods we eat, but it's a small percentage of the population, says Kennedy. For the majority of people, eating foods with cholesterol does not significantly affect their blood cholesterol levels. The current recommendation from the American Heart Association is that most people should eat seven yolks or less per week. Meal Prep Inspiration Add hard-boiled eggs to your salad for a low-calorie protein, or try egg whites and cucumber with salt and pepper for a snack, says Kennedy. 4. Nash on nuts to decrease your appetite Nuts pack in protein and fiber, according to the Mayo Clinic, which makes them filling foods. A daily serving may also help you lose weight, according to a preliminary study presented at the American Heart Association's Scientific Sessions 2018 in Chicago. Another study published in the Journal of Proteome Research found that people on a 12-week diet that included a handful of mixed nuts daily had higher levels of serotonin, which is a hormone that can decrease appetite, than those who didn't eat nuts. However, the calories from nuts and nut butter can add up quickly because they are such a rich source of healthy fats, says Kennedy. 
While this fat is not a bad thing and it's actually good for you, it's important to keep an eye on portion size when consuming nuts. Kennedy recommends keeping your portion size to 1.5 ounces, or a small handful of nuts, each day. The amount of fat differs from nut to nut, for example, 1.5 oz of whole almonds have about 21 grams of fat. If you find that you're not losing weight, take a look at your portion of nuts again and see if you need to make adjustments. It's also important to choose nuts without any added fat, sugar, or salt, which can decrease the overall healthfulness of the nuts, Kennedy advises. Smart snacking tip. Thinly spread one tablespoon of peanut butter or almond butter on a piece of whole wheat toast for breakfast and add a sprinkle of slivered almonds on steamed green beans at dinner, says Kennedy. 5. Pop some popcorn for a guilt-free snack. Your stomach lags behind your brain, it takes about 20 minutes for digestive hormones to send the signal to your brain that you're filling up, says Kennedy. That's one reason popcorn is high on Jerpstot's list of foods that can help you lose weight. It takes a long time to eat popcorn, and the more slowly you eat, the more likely you are to start feeling full before you overdo it. Popcorn is also a good source of fiber, making it a filling food, too, says Kennedy. One cup of air popped popcorn has 1.2 grams of fiber, but since a serving of popcorn is usually considered to be more than one cup, the fiber adds up. To be considered a good source of fiber, food has to contain just 2.5 grams of fiber, this can be reached at just, about, 2 cups of popcorn. Smart snacking tip. Use a hot air popper and you'll save on fat and calories, Jerpstot says. Or pop your corn on the stove with a minimal amount of oil, suggests Kennedy. 6. Go for Greek yogurt for more protein and less sugar. Greek yogurt is another chart topper on the list of smart foods for weight loss, says Cantor. It's a great choice because it has more protein and less sugar than most other yogurts. While the amount of protein can vary from brand to brand, one 7-ounce container of plain, low-fat Greek yogurt has about 20 grams of protein and 7 grams of sugar, this sugar is naturally occurring from the lactose in the milk and no added sugar. Greek yogurt is also a good source of calcium, with about 230 mg per 7-ounce container, about 18% of your DV. A study published in the journal Diabetes Care found that a diet rich in dairy calcium intake enhances weight reduction in people with type 2 diabetes. Meal Prep Inspiration Make a parfait of Greek yogurt and fresh fruit for breakfast or as a dessert, or use Greek yogurt as a base for thick and creamy smoothies, suggests Kennedy, who recommends using plain Greek yogurt without any added sugars. 7. Choose chili peppers to boost your metabolism. The higher your metabolism, the more calories you burn, even when you're at rest, says Kennedy. Various studies, such as one published in June 2017 in the journal Bioscience Reports, have suggested that capsaicin, the active ingredient in chilies and other peppers that makes them spicy, may help boost metabolism, although no individual food has been proven to increase metabolism to the point of leading to weight loss, Kennedy notes. One small study published in the British Journal of Nutrition found that people who added capsaicin to their high-fat and high-carb breakfast decreased protein and fat intake at lunch and felt more satisfied and less hungry. Meal Prep Inspiration Try spicing up your morning eggs with chili peppers, fixing a breakfast burrito or tacos with chilies, or making yourself a bowl of piping hot chili with red beans for an early lunch, says Kennedy. 8. Drink more water to avoid overeating. Water should be a staple on your list of foods for weight loss, even though it isn't a food per se. A study published in 2014 in the Journal of Natural Science, Biology, and Medicine found that drinking more water, more than the usual intake, reduced weight and body fat and suppressed appetite in overweight female participants. Another study, published in July to August 2016 issue of Annals of Family Medicine, found a significant association between inadequate hydration and elevated body mass index BMI, and inadequate hydration and obesity. I recommend you drink a glass of water before you eat in between servings, Cantor says. And if you're drinking alcohol, he suggests having a glass of plain water between drinks. 
Your intestines can only hold so much volume, Cantor says. Water will fill you up quickly and prevent you from overdoing it on foods and drinks that don't help with weight loss. Also, some people overeat because they mistake thirst for hunger. The parts of the brain where the body assesses hunger and thirst are very close together explains Kennedy. For this reason, it's very common for someone to feel hungry when they're really just dehydrated. Staying well hydrated is the best way to make sure that any hunger pangs are actually hunger.